Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On this episode of Christians Unite Bible Readings, we're going to be reading chapter 2 of 2 Peter. False prophets and teachers, but false prophets are also among the people, just as there will be false teachers among you, who will secretly bring in destructive heresies, even denying the master who brought them, bring upon themselves quick destruction, sorry, real quick, and many will follow their sensuality, and become of them the way of truth will be blasphemed, and in their greed they will exploit you with false words their condemnation for long is not idle and their destruction is not asleep for if god did not spare angels when they sinned but cast them into hell and committed them to chains of gloomy darkness to keep until the judgment if he did not spare the ancient world but preserved noah a herald of righteousness with the seven others when he brought a flood upon the world of the ungodly. If by turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah to ashes, he condemned them to extinction, making them an example of what is going to happen to the ungodly. And if he rescued righteousness, or rescued righteous Lot, greatly distressed by the central conduct of the wicked, for as the righteous man lived among the day after day, he was tormenting his righteous soul over their lawless deeds that he saw and heard. Then the Lord knows how to rescue the godly from the trials and to keep the unrighteous under punishment until the day of judgment, and especially those who indulge in the lust of defiling passion and despise authority. Bold and willful, they do not tremble as they blaspheme. The glorious ones were as angels, though greater in might and power, do not pronounce a blasphemous judgment against them before the Lord. But these, like irrational animals, creatures of instinct, born to be caught and destroyed, blaspheming about matters of which they are ignorant, will also be destroyed in their destruction, suffering wrong, the wage for their wrongdoing. They count it pleasure to reveal the daytime they are blots and bless blemishes revealing in the deceptions while they feast with you they have eyes full of adultery unstable for sin they entice unsteady souls they have hearts trained in greed accursed children forsaken this forsaken the way they have gone astray they have followed the way of balaam the son of beor who love gain from wrongdoing but he, rebuked from his own transgression, speechless donkey spoke with human voice and restrained the prophet's madness. These are waterless springs and mist driven by a storm. For them the gloom of utter darkness has been reserved. For speaking loud boasts of folly, they entice by sensual passions of the flesh those who are barely escaping from those who live in error. They promise the freedom, but they themselves are slaves of corruption. For whatever overcomes a person, that he is enslaved. For if after they have escaped the defilements of the world through the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, they are again entangled in them and overcome the last state, has become worse for them than the first. For it would be have been better for them to have known the way of righteousness than after knowing it to turn back from the holy commandment delivered to them what the true proverb say has happened to them the dog returned to its own vomit and the sow after washing herself returns to wallow in the mire so in this chapter chapter 2 of 2nd Peter it's talking about leaders of the church and prophets and people that are called or say they're called but really they are false teachers 
they behind closed doors they're living in complete sin um, and you know they they tell others to do great things and they themselves are slaves to sin so we have to be careful of these people um, especially the ones that talk about great riches so there's a lot of pastors out here today that talk about um, prosperity so that's kind of the false teachers that this is talking about as well uh, we have to be weary of people that uh, the message is not focused on Jesus Christ but self when you hear a message from a pastor and it's not talking about repentance and it's not talking about how to get right with God but all, all focused on yourself and how how you can lift yourself up that is false teachings so be weary because these are things that we need to know so that we can not be led astray ourselves thank you for listening to this edition of Christians Unite Bible Readings we will see you again uh, tomorrow for another edition of topics.